Last week, on The Aviator Show, we saw some life-changing flights. Bird. This week on the Aviator Show, we team up with past Aviator alumni to do some backcountry flying and sandbar camping. Look, I just want to say that this is not a sandbar. I'm from Florida. I know sand. This is a boulder bar. Add a little power as you touch. You need it. That was almost really nasty. Reese musters up all his strength to try a takeoff that will test everything he's learned so far. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna work out. <laughs> the Expedition Overland crew and Dave from American Expedition Vehicles bring out all their toys in this week's episode of The Aviator Show. All right, we're here in front of my friend Nemo here. Uh, my buddy Dave built this boat. Dave's a wild man. How many horsepower is in it? Uh, 260. 260 horsepower. How long is it? 10 feet. It's all um, quarter inch aluminum, weighs about 800 pounds. Does 60, tops out about 60. And uh, underneath it's all plastic, so you can just skip over rocks. Needs about three inches of water. It's a whitewater boat, so it's better, and like the bigger the waves, the better. This day is gonna be epic, guys. Uh, Reese and I are flying in. That was almost really nasty. <laughs> oh my God, that was sketchy. <laughs> We've got the X Overland guys coming. We might have a few more surprises showing up. They're gonna drive the jet boat in. We're all going to a sandbar, camp out overnight, have some fun. I'm excited. So we're in Montana and I totally bought a fishing license for the season in Montana because I thought we were going fishing. <laughs> that is not what I was thinking about when they said we were going to go to the river to go fishing. <laughs> All right, what are we doing? Uh, we're going to be flying some butt fans into the back country. <laughs> I'm so excited. We've been playing on this for months. We got the Expedition Overland guys. We got Dave from AEV and more little surprises hopefully as well but we're gonna go find a river bar uh, to spend the night on. I probably should take a shower too. Yeah you're taking a shower. Definitely taking a shower <laughs> in the river. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the sky. The sun is shining. I knew it would. The world's a playground. I'm in the clouds. Let me show you what it's all about. Check it out.
some big old rocks, boy. Add a little power as you touch. You need it. That was almost really nasty. <laughs> Could you not have just given me a little bit more runway? <laughs> I almost tripped the crap out of him. We went right over my lines. Oh my God, that was sketchy. Stage one, bar two. Let's see if we can get further down the river. Woo! prospector. Out and about. Toy hauling, making the campers. Playing the boys. Going to the next bar. Hey, uh, which area did you, uh, looks like you guys went into the right here. Yeah, Jackson, just right through there. Now these American expedition vehicles make driving through the backcountry look easy, but there are real dangers to traveling these rivers. So Clay and his crew use radios to communicate to one another while finding the best line. Uh, here we go. We're going to go a little further here and then take a right. Determine all the river crossings are doable with one more to go. And uh, should be no problem. And then we're going to be really remote in the middle of the river. Pretty special. Pretty special. We get all these guys going. One more! All right, what happened? One more. Look, I just want to say that this is not a sand bar. I'm from Florida. I know sand. This is a boulder bar. This is highly compressed sand bar. Uh, I don't know, but we're here. I'm on the ground. I think I'm going to stay on the ground just uh, for the longevity of filmmaking in aviators. I know you guys want to see a lot more films come out. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll be taking off out of this necessarily, but if Eric wants to do it, Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> Stove sits. So we got another stove here. This is our ham radio system. So when all the guys are up in the air, we are able to check comms. Com check on uh, Utah. He's not on yet, but and then that's piped into the big speakers on the back, so we can hear all the communications of the guys in the air while we're around. I've said it before. I've said it just this morning. Who gets to do this? We are just so, so blessed to be a part of this group called Aviator. All right, arms up and back. Move smoothly. More speed, touch of power. Power, power, power release. Remember that altitude, if you lose your engine, you're getting wet, period. 
So I try to either be closer to shore on one side or the other, uh, or a little higher so you can make that turn back to the gravel. Better to be in that, that little water. That's perfect. Right there, if you had to make a left turn, you'd be back on shore. Keep this feet down. All the way down, right hand more, right hand more. Run forward, right hand more. Right hand more. There you go. Keep tightening that wing away from the water. <laughs> That's been a while. Yeah, that's since my dad passed. That's oh, Proudy. Been since June, so Proudy. that was a big fight. Thanks for doing it. I'm glad you came up, man. That was, <laughs> that was nice having you back in my ears. That's like you made it look oh, easy. This is this is where the foundations were. <laughs> you made it look easy, man. Again. I think I broke 42 hours. Oh, 41.9. <laughs> go again. Go again. <laughs> uh, how you feeling? Good. Good. That felt great. It just kind of. I'll pop back into me, so. Yeah, you're launching in a tough spot. You got water on one side, trucks on the other. Yeah. <laughs> it was good, though. Thank you so much. Yeah, brother, anytime. Don't want to overdo that. I've been like looking deep into it. So. Yeah, we'll come yeah. down, man. Like seriously, we'd, we'd love to have you. Right on. I started watching his YouTube videos. Tucker? Oh, Tucker. Tucker, yeah. I taught him. Okay. Yeah. He's my son. He was oh, He's my son. <laughs> he calls me I mom. I saw the so. like law enforcement encounters. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude just like me, like rolling up. Hey, what is this? Hey, I want to try. Yeah. Can I rent one? <laughs> Where do you get one of these? Can I rent one? Have a license. Mm -hmm. sleep in a hat but you don't want to see my morning hair <laughs> you can see my breath in the tent I'm buying a tent like this someday this thing's amazing I freaking slept amazing Kelty thank you for the awesome sleeping bags I wish you'd sponsor this video but waking up to the sound of the water it's amazing this is what it's all about I love it let's go fly Hey, I just did a failed launch into the water, but just the wing went in the water, so I'm okay. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna work out. <laughs>
I can do this. All right, let's head south. Looking good. Uh, Reese, we'll fly south following the river. You got the straight shot. You'll catch up to us. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty much doing everything what they tell you not to do. I got one more in me, and if this doesn't work, loading it up. Be happy with my failed attempts. Clear prop. Looks good, looks good, looks good. All right, you guys got a fourth wing in the air. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Way to get up, buddy. Way to get up. Oh, we run out of wine with these. Sipping on sunshine. Dropping in on the hay belt now. behind you as you fly by it, get a video. That's really pretty. I got eyes on Reed, it's at like two o'clock here. So that's that. That's another pack of coyotes out to your left there. Hands up, let it fly, let it fly. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, boy. <laughs> big breaks, big breaks. <laughs> wait, wait, now. Perfect, Clay, same thing. One foot back, Ty, keep those brakes in. Clay, wait for me. Hands up, let it fly, wait. Wait, wait, two inches, hold. Two more inches, hold, all the way down, run. Yeah, boy. Dude, that was awesome. Heck yeah, brother. Into the river and you still made it. I know. <laughs> that was awesome. So much fun. Yeah. <laughs> Love flying yeah, with you, man. That was so beautiful. Awesome. That was an adventure right there. Uh, there's a lot of ways to get the feeling of adventure. I think the biggest thing that I'm going through is just overcoming fear. Yeah. We all do in different ways. And then you have things that come along in life that disrupt your mental states and then you got to keep pushing through and that's what it was for me today yeah anti 
yeah. last night and today was was getting back in the air. I've flown, uh, what was it, 12 minutes in 2020. Wow. You know, I just tripled my flight time this year on this one flight. <laughs> <clears throat> but you don't have to go far to have epic adventures. It could be in your backyard, man. Yeah. Like, literally, it's, it's... Yeah. We're doing this all the time from now on. Like, as many ways as I can find to... to get with people who think the way that you guys think that we all kind of have this drive to, ex to experience life I'm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be dedicating more and more of my life to it because this is special can't beat it man can't beat it I'm so glad to be back next week on the aviator show the family prepares for a final farewell to Montana Eric Nell August Arthur and Eloise all hike to secret lake to visit the great views at Glacier National Park Then it's 1,500 miles back to Florida, but first Reese gets a special package in the mail. As you know, we use a lot of drones in our productions, and uh, right here is a very special drone. No amount of crash drones can prepare us for the future, but stay tuned for a glimpse of some clips from upcoming episodes. Well, fine, Wyoming first time. If you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing to this channel. Also visit our Patreon page to see more ways of supporting our media efforts to bring you top level paramotor productions. We'll see you next week right here on The Aviator Show.